Mr. Rogers. Here's seven ways to avoid another 9-11. Number one. Don't elect Jeb Bush. Now, George H.W. Bush, he did a decent job. George W. Bush, that's a whole different story. He was bad. Bad. Bad leader. He's the type of person that leads a theater group but has severe anxiety and can't speak in public in front of anyone without sounding like they don't know what they're doing or without confidence. Or what if that's what he's wanting us to think? So the whole time that we thought he was dumb, he's planning the September 11th attacks. Picture Jeb Bush standing in the Oval Office. I'm glad to be here. Now picture what he could be thinking as he's standing in the Oval Office. He has a, a great amount of power. Now, we already know that the new Trade Center has been done. It's already done. And so has the 9-11 Memorial for a long time. Do we really want to give him the opportunity to take another shot at America? What if he's already outthought us and he plans on sending a plane to the arch and it's going to be like and it's going to split in two halves like that. You all need to realize that there is a solution to all of these problems. To get rid of Hillary, to get, rid of, to get rid of the Bushes, there's just one solution. Only one. The one solution is Donald Trump. Trump is like a god and Trump has answers to everything that we've ever he can come back and fix what the other presidents have left broken. He can pick up where Bush left off. He can pick up where Obama's left off. He can pick us back up because the presidents and America itself make so many mistakes and that biggest mistake was letting Mexicans into this country. He can take all the Mexicans out of this country and he can bring us back up. They keep stealing our jobs because they work for such low pay and they all work at fast food all day. And it's about time that we step up and say, this is wrong, and Donald Trump can fix it today. Hopefully Mexican people still like me. I still need to get my drugs. I got you, Tim. This is why you need a Mexican best friend. He gives me drugs I haven't even heard of. Like this stuff down here, this bird shit. You go like this, it rolls up. Then you get on the ground, and you sniff it like, and then it makes you feel like a bird. Go. Then you start to feel weird, you start to feel hot, like a hot rush after you take heroin and your body just starts to shake and you don't even know what you're saying anymore. You feel paranoid, you feel like everything's watching you, like those planes in the sky right now, that plane right there, you feel like it's going to crash into something and you don't want to be a part of You don't want to be a part of Number two. <laughs> Assume that all Muslims are evil, and if they tell you something, just know that it's a lie. It's the opposite of what they're telling you. If one says, No sir, I don't have the bomb. I am an American citizen. I love America. Just know that that person is lying. All the time, people, like especially the Muslims, they try to use reverse psychology on us American citizens, and we fall for it every single time. With him saying that he doesn't have a bomb, he has a bomb big enough to destroy North America. Come on, guys. So stupid. And with him saying that he's an American citizen and that he loves America, he is really as Muslim as they get. He wants to see America burn in hell with Obama and Satan, with Satan hovering over Obama, with his fiery dick just going, oh, take it. Take it, who's president now? And then Obama's like, I kind of like this. Yes, keep it going. Yes. Yes, Satan. Yes, Satan. Yes, Satan. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is this is this is the American, the American dream. This is the American dream. Damn right it's the American dream. Yep. Yep, Satan. Yep, Satan. And then they end up rolling down the hill together like, oh, 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 oh. And he's just going, yes, Satan, yes, Satan. He's, uh, 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 uh. And then Obama ends up sticking his tongue all up in freaking Satan's butthole and it burns like fire ants. American dream, guys. Uh. 
Number three. Ah, ah, ah. All in Satan's butthole. Ah, fire ants. Ah. Ban all planes from flying in the sky. Look at this. There's already been five planes that have flown by while filming this video. And those planes could be headed towards anywhere. And we don't know it. All planes need, all planes need to be banned. Every single plane. You see a toy little helicopter flying around, shoot that shit down. You see something like that, you don't know what's on it, you don't know if it's a five-year-old little boy or girl or even a whole family, shoot that shit down. It doesn't matter because we can't risk. Then, when you shoot that shit down, you do what Americans do. You point your gun towards the heavens, you thank God for giving us the right to bear arms, and you just go... Then, whatever fell down from the sky like birds, you pick those up, you put that in a basket because you can deep fry that shit. Then, you go, AMERICA! And then you run away with a really fat person because that describes America. As Americans, we all need to come together and get rid of the planes. The Wright brothers, throw them out of history books. We can't have planes anymore. We can still get places by driving. If we need to get to other countries, you know what we do? We use a submarine. We can use submarines. And that avoids any kind of attack unless we go underwater and have underwater battles. Support me. Thank you. Number four. <laughs> we need a friendly dictator. We need somebody like Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers cared about everyone. See what I mean? These planes are even so loud and they're just ruining the video. Mr. Rogers cares about every single person in the world. To him, everybody is his neighbor. Hey, Billy. Guys, Billy's my only friend. Except for Mr. Rogers! Hey there, neighbor. Hi there, neighbor. Hey there, neighbor. Hi there, neighbor. Mr. Rogers would most likely get the whole United States to start living by the Bible because he was a Christian man. And finally, and God we trust, will finally go into play. Praise Jesus. Number five. <sighs> Realize that no matter what we plan to do, not everybody will agree with us. Like for example, Michael Brown, I thought he was innocent. There's always going to be those trolls or those guys that always disagree with you. But just know that I'm always right. My ideas, whatever I decide, whatever I want to do, those are always right. Like if you were to listen to me about the Michael Brown thing, if Michael Brown would have lived instead of being shot and we just would took him to jail, we could have had him serve jail time if he was guilty, and we could have taught him. He had the knowledge in him to cure cancer. Cancer! All kinds of cancer. But no, we shot him. And as the cop pulled that trigger and went pew, all the time slowed down for a minute and went Shh. And as the bullet entered his body, cancer spread even more. This is why you all need to listen to me. Let Mr. Rogers be president. Vote Donald Trump for, for vice president if we have to. Mr. Rogers is dead, so we gotta go to the next best thing. And if you disagree with me, I'll kill you. I will kill you and your pathetic mind that votes for really shitty leaders to lead this country. I will kill every single one of you by blasting on the radio Eminem's Go to Sleep. I'll be sitting there burying your body. Have you dig I'll have you dig your own graves like that criminal mind stuff. And then as you're doing that, I'll have Go to Sleep, bitch! Why are you still alive? And you'll be sitting there, oh, I should have listened to Tim's idea of Michael Brown. And then I'll kick you in there like, this is kick you in there and they'll start burying you on top and you'll be hearing Eminem as your last thing and you'll be like well at least God I got to listen to Eminem before I died and then you'll go to hell and get raped by Satan's fiery deck and Obama will be like it's about time we had a threesome let's rotate yeah rotation I will be the Antichrist and if you guys don't know what the Antichrist is that's where it's the, the like the 
the final things where Jesus has come back and the people left behind us to stay. And there's that one guy that's the Antichrist that can say anything and they always trust and believe in him. I get on a stage like this and I say, hello, my people. And then they all start to freak out like this. Oh, he called me his people. <laughs> oh, I can suck his cock. I can suck his cock. Oh, let me suck your cock. Oh, 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 the thought of it. Oh, my God. Oh, stick a cork up the butt. Oh, rocks. I can suck his cock better. I can suck his cock better. Ah. Oh, it's in my mouth. It's like. Let me suck your chicken tenders. Number six. Uh, uh. Give people in the really tall buildings like the tray tenders. Give them jetpacks because if there's ever a case where a plane flies into a building, so push it Well, instead of, you know, they could just break a window. Instead of breaking a window to get air, like, they could break a window and just be like, like jetpack joyride and just then collect coins if they go to because I'm sure a lot of things are going to fly out of that building that cost a lot of money. Or they can grab some stuff before they fly out. They can be like, then they can sell it and they can use the money they get out of that for a fundraiser to be able to repair the buildings and help the people that were hurt during that event. And firefighters, they'd be down here in the trade center and be like all the way up there and they'd be like, crap, how are we gonna get up there? We're gonna have to go all up those steps because the elevators don't work. No, because if they have a jetpack, you know what they do? They could take the fire hose up there and just go, shh, but that fire hose is too strong. They'd be like, and they go flying back down and they could get hurt during it. So what I've decided to do, since I'm the Antichrist and everybody trusts me, all you do is you get a whole bunch of buckets lined up. Just little tiny buckets lined up. Now one firefighter's got the fire hose, he's like, shh, shh, shh. And the other firefighters go, shh, shh, to the spot of impact and just go, huh. And he comes down, so they all line up and they're throwing it on the spot of impact, the little buckets. And then they come down, the guy refills it, like, shh, got it done, Tom. And then Tom grabs it, goes back up, throws it. But I've instructed them to not help people out of the building, unfortunately because we can't handle that type of stuff. If someone gets hurt while one of my firefighters are taking care of them, we could get sued. And if we get sued by them, they're mostly gonna win because that's the American way. And the American dream is to sue people and get lots of money so you don't have to work, you can get early retirement. So you know what we do? We instruct other people to fly themselves out and we have enough jetpacks on every floor. That would be the best solution to the problem. We can still get the fire out, but if we get sued and we lose, we lose money towards our firefighter stuff. So if we can't buy any more firefighter stuff, and if, if there's ever a fire, we won't have as much resources to fight the fire back as we could. And without that, the, the fire's gonna kill people, the buildings are gonna burn, the fire could spread, and there's nothing we could do. All of New York City could burn down if the bitch wins court. That is why we can't help people out of the buildings, but we'll sure put out that fire for you. All we need is jetpacks. Please get us jetpacks. That has been a public service announcement. By the Antichrist. Number seven. <laughs> Female orgasm. I just want to say for number seven, this isn't really something that's like, you know, a joke or saying how we could prevent another 9-11. This is just us saying like, no, we didn't forget about the Pentagon and no, we didn't forget about that plane that crashed in the field. Like, whenever you see the 9-11 stuff, what you always see is 9-11 never forget and the two trade centers. You see like, oh, never forget. And then you see the two trade centers. When people say, we remember this day, you see the two trade centers. Whatever happened to the days where people actually cared about the people in the Pentagon and the people that crashed the plane so our White House wouldn't have gotten hit. Everybody takes those sacrifices for granted and assume that 9-11, the instant thing you think of is the trade centers. You never think of the Pentagon or the people that gave out their lives to protect our White House. Think about that when you guys try to sleep tonight. I'm about to fade this out to black and white like I normally do at the end of my videos. And as it fades out to black and white, just know those people died to protect us. This is the American dream.